I have another keychain flashlight that I want to share with you today. This is the Manaminko CSF04. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this tiny light, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, I would like to thank the company Flashlight Brand for sending me the Mataminko CSF04 keychain flashlight. All right, so what we'll do, as always, we'll go down to the tabletop. I'll go over the key features for this tiny light. I'll go over its physical and performance specifications as well as its modes of operation. Then, of course, we'll do some testing. All right, just before we take a closer look at the Mataminko CSF04 flashlight, I thought I'd share with you what it came with. So the light arrived in this box with a bit of information on the back. That's it. That's all that came with it. No charging cable and not even the split ring. That's something I put on it so I could carry it on my keychain for a while to test it out. You know, it is a USB type C charged uh, light. You can see the port right there. But uh, like many people, I'm sure I'd have no need for an additional cable. So if they want to save a few pennies off of the cost by uh, dropping the cable, that is fine with me. All right. There is one other thing that I want to share with you, and that is this business card from Flashlight Brand. They asked me to show you this because they do have a 10% cash back offer for anyone that's interested. You can go to the site listed here. We'll also be in the video description, of course. All right, let's put it aside. Like I said, that's all that came with it, not even the split ring. But I can tell you from having carried it for quite a while, I like this little light. It is actually a very good little keychain flashlight. So let's just go over a few of its key features. I mentioned it is USB type C uh, chargeable. It is or does have an IP65 waterproof rating, which is very good for a small light like this, especially one that you're likely not going to be getting all that wet because it's on your keychain. It does have smooth ramping, which means it will go from its lowest lumen setting to its highest lumen setting of 300 lumens, which is significant for a small light, in a smooth smooth ramp. It doesn't have the steps as, as many of them do. Now this one is a white ABS plastic and they do come in a variety of colors but I want to point out that the white and the umber, or amber ABS plan, plastic are also luminous meaning when they are exposed to an external light they will glow in the dark for a little while. I, I'm hoping to be able to demonstrate that when we get to that point in the video. All right let's go over the physical specifications for this little light. The weight point six ounces, 17 grams. I mean, it just barely even there. You certainly won't even notice it on your keychain. Length overall, 2.09 inches or 55.3 millimeters. A diameter, 0.64 inches or 16.2 millimeters. It does have a built-in rechargeable battery. However, I can't not tell you how many milliamp hours it has. That information wasn't available to me. But I can say in addition to the waterproof rating of IP65, it does have a two meter drop resistance. All right, performance specifications, very easy. I have no idea what the low end of the lumen settings is, but I believe it's gotta be less than one lumen, as you'll see when I demonstrate it. However, I can tell you it has a max lumen setting of 300, and that's really very, very bright for much, uh, such a small light, and a beam distance cast of 60 meters. All right, let's go through the modes of operation for the Mataminko CSF04 keychain flashlight. So this light runs on the smooth operating principle, which is to say, if you press and hold your finger on the on off button, the light will ramp between the lowest and the highest lumen setting and then back down again. Now I'll tell you that the highest lumen setting is 300 lumens, but there was no information provided on what the lowest lumen setting is. But based on my experience, it has to be somewhere under one lumen. So let me turn the light on. Quick press. As you can see, very, very dim, but that's nice in some circumstances. Now, if I press and hold the button, the light will ramp all the way up to the top to the highest lumen setting. Now, there is no flash to indicate it has reached the highest lumen setting, so you just have to watch for it. If I press and hold the button again, it'll ramp all the way down to the bottom. Now, I'm just going to take it up a short ways because what I want to demonstrate now is if I turn the light off, and back on, it has memory for the last lumen setting. Now, with the light turned on at any point in the lumen settings, if I double press, it'll jump right up to the turbo or high mode. Let me turn the light off. Now, if I double press while the light is off, 
then it goes right into strobe mode. Now there is another lighting system built into this light which gives you some colored LEDs which will appear in the body of the light. To access those lights you start by triple pressing the on off button while the light is turned off. One, two, three. And you can see the light illuminated in the body and it is a whitish green light. Now if I press the on off button I can cycle through the available LEDs there. So it went from green to red to blue, to flashing red, to flashing blue, to flashing blue and red. And then long, if I hit it again, it'll just go back to the green light. And then if I long press, I can turn the light off. Having gone over the physical performance specifications for the Metaminko CSF04, I think it's time to do some demonstrations. So I'm doing my nighttime testing of the Metaminko CSF04 keychain flashlight. I'm outside of my home. I want to show you what the beam pattern looks like against the side of my house, which is about 15 feet away. So let's turn it on. So very nice, tight, clear spot beam for such a small light. Very bright, very clean against the side of my house. Now let's just turn the camera into my backyard. And you're looking at about 60 feet distance to the trees in my backyard. For a little tiny keychain, this thing really has a lot of power to put out. Very impressive. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few closing comments on the Mataminko CSF04 keychain flashlight. What do I like about this little light? 300 lumens. That's pretty impressive for such a small little light. I also like that it's a very durable little light. Simple operation, simple construction. Yeah, it's just a nice little light. Now, the fact that it has the smooth ramping is a plus. The fact that it has that low under lumen setting is a plus as well. The colored LEDs, take it or leave it. I don't know how often I'll use them. It's kind of cool that they're there. Is it, is it a gimmick? Maybe, maybe not. You might like them. I can't see using them too often, but I don't mind the fact they're there. They don't impede me from using it as a regular flashlight. Okay, I think I've covered all that I pretty much can on this diminutive little light. What I would offer to you now is if you have any questions or comments, then please put them in the comments section below. Of course, I will be putting all the information for this light in the video description as well as links to where you can look at it and maybe purchase it if you're interested. All right, that's all I have for you today. Get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.